I'm Mama, the director and camera operator. Now that I'm in the director's chair, I'm not going to tolerate shoddy acting. So keep that in mind. Are we recording something? Of course we are. We're testing a theory here, so we need to create something that can be viewed objectively. I have no idea what you're going on about. Shut your stupid mouth, you third-rate bit part actor! Are you too much of a moron to figure this out without the director having to tell you everything? But... Just zip it and play the culprit. If we're due... Duping... Academy? Like, the nuts? Enough! Let's get this started! Ready? Action! Um... Hi! I'm, uh, the culprit who killed Jin. Now, prepare to witness an amazing show featuring this corpse! <sighs> Not only is your acting amateurish, but I don't even understand what kind of character you're trying to play here. I am an amateur! Well, this is just the beginning, so I'll give you a pass for now. Let's start with the positioning of the body. Where and how was it placed? Well... It was right here. The body was placed so it was hung like a bridge between two beams. You can place it like this because it was stiff from rigor mortis. So that's how they did the light trick. Carbon nanotubes, CNT, were tied to the body. The CNT went up the beams and extended downward onto the light switch. CNT is too thin to be seen with the naked eye, so no one noticed it. I've got it all set up. Now I just need to wait for the rigor mortis to subside. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in character? Boy! I sure hope the corpse gets softer soon! It needs to be soft and squishy! Like- This scene makes no sense. I'm cutting it out. You made me do it! And after time passed, rigor mortis began to subside. The body falls, and the impact sets off the ignition agent inside it. The fire travels up the fuse line. Soon after, a staff member turns on the lights. Bam! A body appears, as if it teleported in out of nowhere. Sometime later, the burning fuse inside the body reaches the explosives. truth behind the corpse's sudden appearance and explosion! Cut! Good work! I got some nice footage of the reenactment. I still don't understand why the acting was necessary. All makes sense now. That corpse didn't teleport here after all. Of course it didn't. Though the culprit obviously wanted it to seem that way. Half of a body just suddenly appearing out of nowhere. Just like the Philadelphia experiment. Someone went through all that trouble to make it look like something strange occurred. I think they also wanted to draw as much attention as possible to that sign. All so they could spread that QR video. The culprit must have wanted the body to fall during the live stream, right? It would have been pointless otherwise. 
But could they really predict when rigor mortis would dissipate so accurately? The culprit didn't put the corpse up on the ceiling beams while it was completely stiff. It had to have been after the body had started to soften, just slightly. That way, they could estimate that the body would fall in a few hours or so. The stream was scheduled for a whole six hours. The culprit was fine as long as the body fell sometime during that period. 